Hello everyone and welcome to the video lecture series of mobile application development. Students, uh, in the previous session we will talk about that what are the Google Maps and uh, how we can integrate the Google Maps in our smartphone devices. But uh, in the next upcoming sessions, I am also going to show that how we can generate the Google Map API key and how we can integrate it and run the Google Map. But before that, there are some theory topics that we need to understand that's all about the location based services in Android. As well as we are also going to see about the geocoding and the reverse geocoding. So hi everyone, this is our instructor Janice Shah. So let's begin with the understanding of the location based services. So as the location based services that means the Android developer provides the developer with the location API. With this particular API, we can easily track our location. You can also simply there are so many location classes like location center, receiver, uh, marker and everywhere, everything over there. By using such support location classes, we can implement various methods of the location like uh, fetching out the data, nearest uh, restaurant, hotels or also we can say the current location or uh, we can also develop an application like track your current location. This all things can be happen just with the help of location based services. So this location based services in Android are those services that deal with the device geographical location. This object represents the geographical location which consists of a latitude, longitude, a time stamp and other information like bearings, altitude and the velocity. The dependency that we need to degrade for the location is a play services dash locations 17.0.0 it might be possible that while you watching this video the library can be updated and you can implement the functions that I am going to show you by using this library only. So we just need to check out the latest functions for the particular library as well. Now the components of the location based services. Students there are four different classes. Uh, they are like, like uh, location manager, location listener, location provider and location class. The location manager it helps us to get the location services of the system. The location listener interface that is uh, receives the notification from the manager. The location provider is the devices that provide that a location from a set of providers and location class it represents the geographic location at a particular time. Now. These are the various methods that we can access through the location objects. See, the number one is the first float distance to. It returns the approximate distance in the terms of meters between the location and the given location. Uh, the get accuracy is the estimated accuracy of the location in meters. Get altitude is available in meters above the sea level. The get bearing, it uh, gives you the bearings in terms of the degree get latitude and longitude both methods returns latitude and longitude in terms of degree respectively get speed get speed is available in the meter or second over the ground has accuracy it returns true if the location has its accuracy otherwise returns false same as has altitude if true the location has any altitude now has bearing it returns true if the location has bearing has speed it returns true if the location has some speed. Now, void reset, it clears the content of the location. Void set accuracy, it set the estimated accuracy of this location in terms of meters. Void set altitude, it set the altitude, set bearing, set the bearings, set latitude, longitude method are used to set the latitude and longitude both. Set speed is used to set the speed and to string method is convert the object in the form of the string. Now, how we can get the current location? So there are various methods to get the current location. To get the current location, first you need to create the location client object and then use the services to connect the method as a get the last location to call that particular method. Then we can also uh, location based from here it can be implemented using the two different interfaces like Google Play services client or connection callbacks and the on connection failure listener location object. Various methods are like on connected, disconnected, on connection fail and on location change methods are there that you can use to fetch the location as well. So 
with these students uh, we have the two different concepts like the geocoding and the reverse uh, geocoding when we talk about the geocoding what we can do over there so with the help of the geocoding students uh, we can fetch the latitude and longitude from the given address so when i will try to type like this uh, ljit or lg university and click on the go button it will show um, show you the latitude and longitude of the lg university okay and what do we mean by the latitude uh, sorry the reverse coding so reverse coding is totally a diff, uh, reverse of the geocoding that means you have the latitude and longitude and you want to show the address so geocoding that means from the address we are going to move towards the latitude and longitude and reverse geocoding that means from the latitude and longitude we are going to fetch the address right so we are going to see this all about in the upcoming lectures so if you have any doubt in that then please feel free to ask me thank you so much